Hi there Sagittarius, thanks so much for tuning in June 12 through 18 and I'm Astro Girl and how did you pull up after your full on full moon June 9 last week and your ruling planet Jupiter move direct. It was a very busy June 9. And June 9 of course was also the day that the uh, head of the FBI testified against Donald Trump about the Russian involvement in the election. So June 9 was really a day uh, to remember and one for the books, wasn't it? So this week, this week's mixed bag of influences is going to keep you running here, there and everywhere, which you don't mind most of the time. Mercury is true to form. It's in Gemini where it rules and makes two different alignments on the same day. On Tuesday, June 13, Mercury the Communicator trines Jupiter for the second time this year. Right after that auspicious meeting, Mercury turns around and squares Neptune. This mixture of happy talk and confusing thoughts is a reminder that Mercury can speak out of both sides of its mouth. And Tuesday is probably a day when you can't trust what he, they say at all. Things get pretty real Thursday, June 15 with the Sun Saturn opposition. This is the only time this year that these two planets oppose each other. And the takeaway is that it's time to deal with your responsibilities, learn your lessons, and learn to deal with authority figures and maybe kiss and make up with an authority figure, your boss or someone that you live with. Maybe you have a roommate who owns the place and you've been uh, messing up a little bit and you realize that it's time to apologize, come cap in hand into the kitchen and say, I know that I've been a bit loud lately, but it's going to stop because you don't want to be out on the street, Sagittarius. Neptune, the planet of fantasy and dreams, turns retrograde Friday, June 16. And depending on the state of your unconscious, this reversal can mean that the next five months will be either a fertile time for sowing your creative seeds or an unending nightmare if you choose to confront your personal demons. Whenever Mercury goes offline like this, it's time to take a good hard look at the debris that's floating in your personal river of denial. Now, last week's full moon in your sign surely stirred up a lot of personal debris in your river and as did Jupiter moving direct in your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes and friendship. So it's really important that you follow through with that. Maybe write down how you're feeling, write down where you see yourself and write down what you would like to see happen over the next month after following on from your full moon, the closure, the completion and the decisions that you should be making right now that your full moon has been and gone. Thanks so much for tuning in and I look forward to speaking to you again next week Sagittarius.